Hey, Michael. Um, you guys obviously tried numerous adjustments on, on Bojan, but, but what was he doing that was so successful that was undermining those, those attempts to stop him? Uh, he was making open shots. <laughs> uh, obviously, give him credit, 48 points, eight made threes. Uh, but it's, it's amazing how many open threes that he had. Um, a lot of those came in transition, uh, not getting back with, with a sense of urgency, uh, not pointing, talking, matching, finding the most dangerous. And then I thought the beginning of that third quarter, we had some laughable single effort possessions. Uh, guys just standing and watching instead of scrambling. And uh, we talked about going into this game, Mike. Uh, you know, they're one of the league leaders in makes, attempts, and percentage. You have to have a fly around mentality uh, for the entirety of the shot clock. And we had quite a few players. I think uh, those players jumped off the screen. We had quite a few players that were just uh, in single effort mode. Uh, and that's unacceptable. Katie Wingy. Hey, coach, you had that stretch in the fourth quarter, too, where I think you went about five minutes without scoring. Just what was happening there? Was it something they were doing defensively or you just couldn't find a rhythm on offense? Uh, you know, they're a good defensive team, Katie. So obviously you have to give them some credit. But uh, we had uh, 17 turnovers tonight. Seven of those 17 came in the fourth quarter. So empty possessions, uh, poor passing. Obviously, we had a couple really late in that game last minute which were uh, just um, obviously no excuse for those. Um, yeah, so they, they, they turned up the heat. We didn't handle it. We turned the ball over. And, uh, you know, we scored 120 points tonight, but only 21 to your point in that fourth quarter. So uh, we definitely have to be better than that. Mr. Bonabed. Hi, Coach. Uh, considering the turnovers and the highest percentage of, from three points of, of Utah, the team uh, was so close to get the, the win. Uh, how do you describe uh, this uh, particular game against the best uh, team of the season? Yeah, I would agree with that. I think in light of everything, you know, uh, we gave ourselves chances down the stretch. Uh, but costly turnovers, as I mentioned, Esteban, you know, that, that is, uh, those are just real killer possessions when you don't get a shot off and you're giving a high powered offense extra possessions where you're not getting a shot off. So uh, that definitely hurts. Um, I think they had a bunch of sec second chance points in that fourth quarter. Once again, the ball was shot. We had a lot of guys that were ball watching instead of finding bodies and getting engaged. Um, so, you know, as you mentioned, they are a very good basketball team. Uh, we fought, we gave ourselves a chance, but uh, in the fourth quarter, we weren't close to being good enough on the offense or defensive end of the floor. Katie Wingy. Coach, what do you think it is about this matchup that regardless of who's playing for either team, it always is like cutthroat, giving it your best, everything that you have, always very competitive and fun basketball to watch? Well, I think obviously uh, division rivals, you know, um, we played them uh, in the playoffs. We played them a bunch now. Uh, they know us, we know them. And even with Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley out, even with our four of our top guards out, uh, even when we came in here with only seven players, um, two really talented basketball teams that play the game the right way. And I would agree, I think almost all these games are competitive and go down to the wire. And, uh, you know, we, we lost twice against them this year. Uh, and the two losses against them, one at home and one tonight, uh, were games that were very, very competitive as well. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll get a chance to see these guys in the postseason. All right, we all have time for one more. We'll go with Leonardo Torres. Hi, Coach. What are your thoughts on the pick and roll plays of you that night? I mean, is that was the key to create a lot of shots, especially for Bogdanovich? Yeah, I mean, they, uh, you know, if you know their team, you know, they, they're one of the league leaders in pick and rolls ran per game. Uh, they have multiple pick and roll ball handlers, and they have a dynamic role in Rudy Gobert. That's what they do. It wasn't just tonight. Uh, there are a high, high volume pick and roll team. So, uh, yes. Three-pointers were generated through pick and rolls, but once again, 
They scored 30 points in transition tonight. And we must have given up at least six or seven threes in transition. Uh, and those were the most egregious, in my opinion. 